Greetings scholars, this video will review the three emerging paradigms in sociology. The first paradigm we'll be examining is called feminism. Even though the root word focuses on women, this perspective examines women and minorities in society. The paradigm is a macro sociological perspective. We are trying to understand the lives and experiences of women and minorities in the social world that consists of organizations, systems, processes, etc. Feminism helps us examine the issues of inequality and oppression of women and minorities based on their actual lived experiences or biography. The next paradigm is called exchange theory. Exchange theory is also known as rational choice theory. Regardless of which term you use, if you look at the root word exchange, meaning you are trading or evaluating something, and rational choice, meaning we are making logical decisions, either one explains what the paradigm focuses on. Rational choice or exchange theory is a micro sociological perspective. This paradigm is looking at the thinking and behavior of people. Using this perspective, we understand how people make decisions based on cost-benefit analysis. If you think about yourself when you make a decision in the world, you are evaluating what is going to cost me either in time, money, or resources, and what is the benefit of doing it or not. And we make decisions based on the results that we come up with or consequences we anticipate. So this paradigm helps us understand the thinking and behavior, not just of ourselves, but other people in the world and how we interact with them and the, how they come up to their position or understanding about an issue or situation. The last paradigm can sometimes be deceiving for some students or they get it confused with the general term related to the environment because this theory is called environmental theory. Environmental theory has another name referred to as postmodernism. Environmental theory is a macro sociological perspective, meaning it is evaluating what is going on in the social world, such as organizations, systems, processes, etc. The focus of this theory is the effect people have on the social environment and physical environment. It does look at how physical environment affects us, but the emphasis is on how the social world affects us. This paradigm examines how we change and adapt based on what's going on in the social world. If we create a new law that might change our behavior, or maybe a cultural shift like the idea of gay marriage that might affect how we change and adapt as people in society. That's a broad understanding of environmental theory that helps us understand what's going on within society and how people are changing because of what's happening in the social world. This concludes my review of the emerging paradigms. See you later.